Okay, what we have here is an aluminum fixture with four half-inch neodymium iron boron magnets. Two in attraction here, two in repulsion here. Here are two identical magnets. And as you see in repulsion, it is almost impossible to push the two together in repulsion. In attraction, it's extremely hard to pull them apart. Now, arranged in this cancellation fixture, you can see that just with the touch of a finger, they can be brought together. And with the slightest touch of a finger, they come apart. Now, these magnets in the fixture are just as strong as these in repulsion and in attraction. So they appear to be very weak because of the cancellation arrangement. And once again, I'll show you how much force it takes to separate the two magnets in attraction. Just the slightest touch. Of course, the reason for that is is because of repulsion aspect of these magnets over here. Now I'll show you once again how hard it is to pull these rare earth magnets apart. It, it takes all of your strength to pull those apart. But in this arrangement, the slightest touch separates them. Now in pushing the magnets together, it requires a little bit more strength to push them together. Just a slight amount of pressure, but just a slight, uh, much less pressure to separate them. So it's not linear. What I'd like to achieve is to be able to, for these to actually just swing together and apart freely with virtually any noticeable effort. I've been told that someone has seen a fixture at one time similar to this, and the magnets, the heads, the poles of the magnets, of, we don't know whether it was repulsion or attraction, were shaped in a fashion so as to make the cancellation force linear, or constant rather, all the way through the travel. And it would uh, essentially look like this without any, hardly any force whatsoever, except for the friction in the, uh, at the uh, rotation axis. Now, we have not been able to run down the person that built this other fixture. It's been over 20 years since the man witnessed it. But he said that uh, they were balanced so perfectly due to the uh, the reshaping of the poles that uh, you could virtually almost blow on the fixture and it would move in and you could do the same thing, actually blow on the fixture and make it move apart. It was that sensitive, that free of, uh, of any type of repulsion or attraction force being unequal. Now I know once again these appear to be virtually, it's an illusion the magnets appear to be virtually uh, without any attraction or repulsion force. But uh, I'll take this magnet here and show you here that you can hardly push the two together, if at all. And as you can see, the attraction force is tremendous there. The magnets are at full strength. They just appear to be weak because they are canceled out here. But what I would like to do <coughs> is find out if it's either the repulsion or the attraction magnets, I, I believe it's the repulsion magnets. I've been told that their behavior and the magnetic fields and the head, the flux patterns are different 
in repulsion than they are attraction. And by altering the shape of the uh, of the poles at the end of the magnets, that you can make this repulsion and attraction cancellation constant all the way through the travel. Once again, as you can see, it takes a little more force to push them together than it does to pull them apart. That being that the uh, cancellation is not constant all the way through the travel. Now, the force to bring them together is very slight. As you can see, um, I'll demonstrate one thing for you here with a, uh, I'll take this pencil and just hold it lightly and press on the attraction end. And you see they come apart. But if you, if you try to do that on the, in bringing them together, the whole fixture wants to move. It takes a little bit more force. This is a uh, teaching aid to demonstrate this cancellation process um, to students. Uh, I would like to find out I'm sure it's possible. I've been t the man told me that what he saw was uh, it made it appear as though the magnets were not even magnets. And it was due to the reshaping of the head. Uh, if your people can look at this and uh, give me some input on it, uh, we can start manufacturing these and about 10 or 12 others to start with. Um, Once again, I'll demonstrate how easy it is to separate these. Just the slightest touch. And I'll demonstrate how hard it is to pull these apart in a traction. It takes all, just about all my strength to pull them apart. But in this arrangement, virtually no, touch, no pressure at all. Once again, these are uh, neodymium iron boron magnets purchased from Magnet Cells and Manufacturing Incorporated. And these are extremely strong magnets. But uh, in this configuration, they appear to have no strength whatsoever. Actually, I can use a uh, I'll use a piece of paper to demonstrate how little force it takes to separate them. Just a flimsy piece of paper with the slightest touch on it. 